three officers and two armed policemen. I'm not Please. obliged to leave where I'm standing. Right, but you are. I'm not under arrest. You are breaching park regulation. Wait, what's the park regulation? I can't tell you off the top of my head. So how can you enforce a law that you don't know off the top of your head? This is a restricted area. What am I not allowed to do in this restricted area? It doesn't seem like either of you know what the law is. Either it's amplified equipment or it's filming on a phone, in which case all of these people need to go as well. So what's the law? You're making this public. Successful adult men, what advice would you give an 18 year old guy who wants to succeed? Ha, <laughs> it's too late. You should have asked me when you were 12. Yeah, homie, I said adults. I don't think an adult would ask Reddit why my girlfriend cries during I beg your pardon. Is that really in his post history? <laughs> is that in this dude's post history? What is going on? Someone needs to call the cops. What's going on? Considering the fact Apple invented Bluetooth, first to have dual camera, first to stream movies to TV, I can see why we are one trillion dollars. You're wrong. Dr. Yap Harston invented Bluetooth in the 90s. Yeah, and the first phone to have dual camera was LG. Good try, buddy. Streaming movies to TV has been out way before Apple. What is this dude smoking? Another reason why I need a girlfriend. This food keeps getting spoiled. Like, look, my cheese is ruined. Bruh, I was today years old when I found out girlfriends are preservatives. Did this man really think it was funny to post this online? How are you an adult and don't know how to take care of your own food? Do you just like wasting money because you're waiting for some imaginary girlfriend to come into your life and, I don't know, be your maid? That makes no sense, bro. Being p is as bad as being Indian. I hate it here so much, bros. Straight up, no joke. Serious question. Why? Above three guys are just a bunch of racists, so no reason. You can't be racist against Indians. There's like a billion of them, so they aren't a minority. In the same logic, there are 1.8 billion black people in the world. So can you drop the N-word casually? Well, according to this Reddit thread, apparently so. I don't make the rules. Looks like the rules have changed, everybody. You can go ahead and drop your N-bombs because there's nearly 2 billion black people on the planet. So have fun. You know someone made the same observation you did like two hours ago? Oh my god, someone's already been a pedantic on Reddit too? Looks like you could take the day off, my man. <laughs> You're so lucky. It's the selectively bred English pointer for anyone curious. So it's like the bulldog of birds? Can the English just stop selectively breeding monstrosities already? Oh, chill out, man, chill out. That's a very rude way to refer to the royal family, man. Come on, be sensitive. If you did it when you were drunk, you wanted to do it sober. I'm pretty sure I didn't want to sleep outside in a wheelbarrow all night, but alright. As much as that's a good comeback, I still agree with the Jamaican anime princess. For whatever reason, people use being intoxicated as a excuse to be awful, almost like a justification to do terrible things, and I disagree with that. Like seriously, if you're the type to pin your bad behavior on being drunk, maybe just maybe you're a terrible person and it's not actually the alcohol. Name a game you're proud to have 100% completed. Hey Ubisoft, why don't you name a game that you have completed at 100% before releasing it? I want to say Assassin's Creed, but even that's not true. The game might be 100% complete when you buy it, but it won't run that way. It'll be glitchy and messed up, and you'll need to wait for those patches to come through to finish the game. <laughs> Seriously, plot hole? You know zombies aren't real, right? They're magic. You're five comments deep in a thread arguing the logistics of a zombie outbreak. I can only imagine you've been reading in mounting disbelief as you excitedly exclaim to yourself, do they not know that this isn't real? Perspiration foaming on your lip as you tremendously prepare yourself to marshal a response and somehow you're the first to notice this absurdity? Sweet Jesus. We just saw someone get cooked and bodied with a thesaurus, man. That's crazy. How does someone recover? This man's dignity was taken away from him in one paragraph. That is frightening. Men, what's keeping you from looking like this? Genetic diversity. I was going to say something different. I was going to say that maybe I wasn't as rich as him, but yeah, that works too. Genetic diversity. A lot of the royal family had schizophrenia. I wonder where that came from. What would you do if I door dinged your vehicle, huh? Men height chart. 5'2 to 5'5 five five is a child. 5'5 five five to 5'7 five is a young boy. 5'7 to 5'11 is a young man. And 6 foot and above is a king.
Wow, that's a pretty comprehensive chart you got there. You mind if I show you mine? Here you go, here it is. Woman weight chart. 100 to 130 pounds, goddess. 131 to 150 is a queen. 151 to 170 is a whale. 171 to 190 is a mammoth. And anything greater than 190 pounds is a Ford F-150 extended cab 4x4 with pro tow package. If you lick the end of an iPhone lightning cord when it's plugged in, will it result in brain damage? <sighs> no, licking the end of an iPhone lightning cord when it's plugged in is a sign of brain damage. You, you kind of had it confused, but I don't blame you. Your IQ points are on the <laughs> floor. When your short friend says when I was little. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, I'm one short joke away from being my 13th reason why. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, you're going to have to buy a ladder because you ain't reaching the new standing on a chair, my man. What? If she didn't answer, she didn't answer. You don't got to unsend it. It makes you look worse. To who? The girl who didn't answer the DM? The only reason you still want the DM there is to show that you had the attention. And we unsend it because we want to act like we never gave you the attention. We're both playing the same game. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Don't get us wrong. We love Simo Liu, but he's not the only talented Asian thirst trap. I'm all for an Asian king thriving, but when a single actor gets a bulk of Asian roles in Hollywood, it feels a little like tokenism. Wow, what a way to attempt to put us against one another. What bulk of roles are you referring to? Are there movies that I'm in that I'm not aware of? Do you really think there is a quota of Asian male roles that is a zero-sum game? Everything that I've taken post Shang-Chi was not written Asian. We've been able to reshape stories to get more representation on screen. Get your facts straight. Yo, take a look at my post-gym photos. Look at this new tattoo I got on my thighs. Hey, yo, bro was in the tattoo shop. Bro was in the tattoo <laughs> my leg. Like, that's, there's no other way that he got that tattoo. There's no other way. Like, he really had to bust it wide to get those tattoos done. That is terrible. No, no way. <laughs> he just kissed the class of 2023, 2087, bro. That's nuts. You know it's true, though. She been around. We've all seen her get around, bro. Like, what are you doing, man? That stream was so strange because it was just a really weird stream. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Now, who's, who's responsible? <laughs> Who did this, man? No way. No way. Like, she already is getting clowned. For her bad performance in the little mermaid bed like seriously come on this is gratuitous there's not even words on this post yet it was highly ranked and i can see why this photoshop makes her look like something out of splice man like come on <laughs> what's up everybody we're amazon prime and guess who's watching everyone who has our password netflix 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 at this point just delete the tweet you know, save yourself the humiliation. If you delete the tweet, you can spare yourself a little bit of dignity. Not really, though. Not really. Actually, that would be the last minutia of your dignity if you were to take it down. But, hey, at least people would stop bullying you because they couldn't anymore. Using cancer-causing deodorants when this exists is crazy. Is that a f lemon slice? Oh, my God. Like, that's just gross. I bet this dude smells like stale dishwater. Walking around smelling musty with a dash of lemon is crazy. It is crazy, man. Who behaves like this? This should be illegal. I've said it before and I will say it again. If you purposefully walk around civilized society smelling crazy, smelling like lemon pledge and booty funk, you need to go to jail. 20 female, bald girl with alopecia. I don't grow hair anywhere. Feel free to ask questions. Been bald for about five years now. Oh man, why they lock it, bro? Why they lock it? This is the first post on Murder by Words with really no words. We really can't even see the jokes because the jokes have been censored. They were so bad. We can make up some jokes in the comments. Go ahead and clown this woman in the comments. Yo, this is how artists start acting when you ask them about a commission you bought eight months ago. Ain't that the truth? You're about to receive the craziest sob story. Something straight out of the movies, man. Something theatrical, something terrible. And to be honest, it isn't because they want to steal from you. It's simply because they forgot. And the only reason why they opened up commissions that month was because they were facing eviction. Yo, homies in Paris will look you dead in the eyes and call this a 10 out of 10. Oh my God, dude. When people feel comfortable pulling out the fetal alcohol syndrome diagram on you, you know for certain that people find you criminally ugly. 
And you know, if I'm looking at either image, she's not really beating the fetal alcohol syndrome allegations. She's, she, she might need to see a doctor. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aileris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. I am permanently in my new spot, which is spectacular. Look at this setup. Isn't it the greatest? It's just the most high-quality setup you've ever seen. And I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys, and I am just forever thankful. This week, even more content's coming out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. CST, so I hope to see you there. All of the channel favorites will be uploaded, so you guys are going to have tons of entertaining content coming your way. And as always, we got to thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to The Quaking Aspen, Tim Grimson, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, The Eggs One, Fit Chivalry, Din Corda, Code Connor Purvis, Aileris' Mom, Declan, S16, Squish, Rinhex, Rare X Days, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faneker, Zach F., Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dunder Nass Hawk, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon user Noah and Catherine Taylor, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.